Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Wasteland 3 blind playthrough of Supreme Jerk Difficulty episode 31. Still only two deaths to our name. And um, I did one mission off the record. The whole... Um, the whole disappeared. No, it was the slavery mission here. Slavery bounty. Because it was so fast, it was just literally talking to Haley and then uh, collecting the reward. But I want to show you some reward before we're uh, moving on to the next uh, mission. For starters, I have uh, given Hogbite the cyber implant because uh, there are a couple of really cool utility items. He now does have the cyborg uh, tech perk, which allows him to use those cyborg uh, techs. And we're currently rocking with that uh, ad uh, adrenaline enhancer which gives us plus one combat speed so we should be next to the enemy almost immediately so that is an improvement we also found power leg armor and power uh, armor helmet super good armor i have uh, refrained from modding them yet because i want uh, mod armor 10 and really want to find out if this is high level armor he's now coming in at 32 armor so that's great uh, we got the exoskeleton legs uh, to work um, because Lucia finally has enough strength. So she has at the moment the most armor with 42, which is fantastic. And we got a couple of other items that I just want to show you. Um, got the danger zone helmet uh, that uh, is repurposed. Got a waste dweller helmet that is repurposed. Got a nuclear knight's helmet that was also in there which is quite nice with a lot of resistances in there. Again, none of that is modded so far. We found a high level flamethrower, which I think is great. So um, the idea of making Ramos kind of an explosive build with a little bit of flamethrower mixed in there is good as well. And then Murphy now looks like a sex slave, uh, which fits him. I suppose the character uh, just needs to be inappropriate but the inappropriateness comes with the commandant's helmet and 15 percent crit chance just off the bat uh, plus an initiative improvement that's great he's rocking almost 50 percent crit chance now which is absolutely fantastic so we're doing good we're doing good for ourselves um, today's episode will feature uh, a, a new mission frontier justice hunt down Nelius dorsey if you remember uh, the Dorsey brothers, uh, this guy is the one uh, that hated us for killing his brother. So off we go, right into the fray. Let's um, finish the Dorsey family. Good, Cannibal Jamboree. Uh, this here looks a bit like Gate Guard Generator. Can't help myself, but this might not be fantastic so let's just take a bit of cover here and there good Quan Quan actually would be the one that needs to move up uh, Lucia okay howdy strangers y'all here for the barbecue Uh, we know you're cannibals. You're not eating anyone else today. We heard someone calling for help. We're here to investigate. Oh, help yourselves! And make sure to say hello to the box while you're at it. If you ask real nice. <laughs> okay, we don't know yet uh, that they are criminals. I guess what we're definitely going to do is disable this cool two turrets gone and all of that for free you know yep that does not look great By thinking about it, maybe we should just kill them. What good can come out of this discussion?
All right, Ramos. In which case, Hawkbutt is the sole person that goes there, forward. Partners. Name's Rolling Gear. Welcome to my jamboree. Now step right up and get yourself some grub. Wow, the voice on the radio was telling the truth. You're barbecuing people. And why not? I reckon it's the easiest meat to come by these days. How the weak and the stupid die so the strong can survive. Either you're a cowpoke or you're a cow. What's it gonna be, friend? We ain't your friends, you sick bastard. Far from it. We're the end of the goddamn world. I like that. You, you can't talk to me like that. I'm Boss Giff. I run this here cow drive. Get him, cow folks. Get down. I knew it would come down to this because realistically, that was absolutely effed up. Cool. So, we got a couple new uh, toys. Can't move in, but we got launchers, a caltrop launcher. Launches caltrops, damaging and slowing anyone walking over them. Uh, that's not bad. We can use that. And we got a new gun, which I am dying to test. <laughs> oh wow. Uh okay. Don't even remember where we got the gun, but holy that's good. And look at our combat speed, that's not bad either. Should we go simply go back? Maybe that's the right call. I think that's the right call. Let them come. Hawkeye charges back. Stuns this guy. And we are waiting for next turn. I uh, should have used Central's Rally first. <clears throat> now we've wasted 2 AP on Hawkpipe, but that's okay. Oh, the chicken is blocking that way. I see. Fair enough. And the dog is blocking the other way. Oh, come on. Well, Quan moves up, gets the Stormer perk hits and kills one of them good Ramos moves over here and we're reloading and Ramos moves all the way to here. I think that's a perfect place for him to stay for now. Central. Rushes over, should get a free shot thanks to the Stormer perk. Good hit, I like it. Lucia, uh, first of all, Comet stims herself so that we're ready for the next rounds. The Comet stimming is super good. Absolutely A tier. Should 
Shoot the arms. Triple him. Lovely. And just give him another love tap here. Okay. Fabulous. Very cool first turn. Not sure why Murphy wasn't allowed a first turn. Hmm. Was he maybe too far away from the enemies? Yep, that's the answer. He was too far away from the enemies. Now got himself into position. Fair enough. gun is crazy all right this guy takes damage bleeds two further strikes is almost down and hogbite leaves him there uh, to Get ready for next turn. Lucia. Misses. One. Free reload. And there's the kill we were looking for. Then goes for an ambush. Central moves up. High ground is good. Finally, we got some. Got the Stormer perk. Lines one of these guys. And if we hit his arms, yeah, that guy will have a problem even. Hitting us. Alright, Central did a good job. Fabulous. Ramos moves up. That would hit the cyborg chicken, I don't like it, but it's a lot of damage, so... Uh oh, we killed our cyborg chicken. Not good, need to get a new one. No to oneself. Don't mess up the cyber... Uh, the chicken. Quan. Rushes in, gets the Stormer perk. Gets a kill. And Murphy will just take the high ground. From next round onwards, we're good. There's another cyborg chicken. Why did we have two cyborg chickens? Well, don't worry about that now. We're good. That would be great, but it's just too much collateral damage. Oh, 
Getting Roland. Immediately triggers uh, the we keep rolling, rolling, rolling uh, song in my mind. Hmm. Can't get any closer. Barely out of range. Well, in that case, I tell you what. Ambush is the right uh, call. Central moves all over here. Stormer into smaller gun. Good hits into unload fabulous hits Roland is taking a lot of damage and central is just hungering down listen Murphy gets a kill More enemies are coming, that's all fine. We're in a super solid position here. Murphy then uses snowballs and Spotted. spotting one out. And look at that, we, we run so far and we... Oh. And we still have a lot of uh, points left over. Now, this here is better. There'll be two further attacks if we just normally attack. One, two. Got you, Hogbite. You are an absolute menace. I like it. Lucia moves up. Hits this guy, headshot, and a normal shot, and <laughs> we're done. Very good. One moves up and prepares an ambush. Murphy. targets in range wow. I beg to disagree but okay Hunk is down and prepare prepares for the next round William Scar and Psycho Sam Party robot just doesn't care. Where's our stack, by the way? Hogbite somehow still has the rack attack melee bonus, but the stack is gone. I don't know if I should be happy about that or if that's a negative. Central moves up, hits this guy and hits him very good. Lucia could move even further forward. I generally uh, like that idea. The question is, how do we make sure that we're not charging in too fast and too furious? Ah. 
One gets a kill. Hop out. Nicely moves up. And then begins to hide here. Alright, free reload. And central overwood. Wow, the team is coming nicely together. Somehow our builds are starting to look really, really solid. Ramos <coughs> moves up. Big fat hunker down. Kodiak still can't do much. So we're just ambushing in case. Murphy sets himself on fire because why not? Hunkers down. And Lucia is ready for an ambush. Second robot chicken isn't looking so super good. We need to help it. Taking the shot. Free reload. One hit, another one, and yet another one. And we're doing well. Lucia has a good position there. Ramos begins to take out uh, the turret. Murphy snowballs himself. Stops the bleeding. Almost done with the turret. Huh. Central moves up. Fantastic, turret problem solved. Can't really help the chicken. Not as much as I wanted. One moves up. Uh, we can always control the turret a little bit later. Hogbite moves in and let's get this guy down. Fabulous. Oh, down to one hit point, really? <coughs> well. Unfortunately, Cyber Chicken didn't make it. Hmm, that is unfortunate. Lost two Cyber Chickens, but I'm not sure if we really lost uh, so much.
the whole point with those cyber chickens is they are distractions and they distracted well in the combat might as well find new ones so that's all good do we have food no no we don't have food that is unf wait wait maybe it's not under consumer uh, con uh, usables no no we don't have food well gotta heal the old-fashioned way i suppose okay um could use that extra uh, that extra quick slot Hawkeye finally got coordination up, got strength up, speed is fine, he doesn't need any more. The question now is maybe we're giving him one charisma so that his rage meter fills up faster. And awareness is just hit chance for us, so that's not really good. Maybe luck would be good for the remaining levels. Definitely going for weird signs. And we got two perk points. One is reserved for Shrug It Off. And one is reserved for Tender Loving Care. So that still needs to happen. I'm waiting for the book uh, for Armor Modding. What I will say is the question is do we want to um, forego six armor for giving him the Electro Helmet ability? Which deals quite a bit of damage and applies shocked and he is the only one who is close enough to actually use it hmm good question let's test it for a couple of uh, give it a test spin once in a while and then we can make the decision whether or not we like it good got another crafting recipe Crippling linkage, okay. I have to wonder should we have uh, let these guys live? No, cannibals are an absolute no no. And why is there power armor, by the way? All right, um, goat cannon. It's a cannon with a goat in it that delivers more justice than a headbutt on impact. <laughs> that is fantastic. Suit of power armor is well maintained, but appears to be missing several major components. Okay, maybe we can. Uh, get it back into working shape. Um, Turbo charger. That's fine, but we do have uh, a good AI, so we should be okay. Uh, school cap helmet. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Who needs a decent other helmet? This one here is great. Uh, he does have a good helmet. I think the school cap helmet is better than just cold resistance. So Quan gets a bit of a sexualized uh, school cap helmet. Somehow everything that that guy is wearing looks a little bit like he would go to an orgy once in a while, but maybe he does. For all I know, Quan is a bit of a, a bit of a character. Level one semi-automatic pistol. Okay, well that is not so fabulous loot to begin with. Okay, let's move forward. Oh, 
Wait, so they had people in here, but these people attacked us? Doesn't make any sense. Maybe the cannibals were even holding other cannibals hostage. Hmm. Alright, I wish we would find out how to take that power armor. Monitor displays work in progress plans for the Pitmaster 3000. Hmm. That's a bit anticlimactic. I was hoping there would be a bit of a reveal. Okay. Well, maybe we didn't even have a quest here. Alright, the one thing that I know is the Kodiak has worked super well. The new gun is absolutely <clears throat> maddeningly good. And we rooted out uh, quite a few cannibals. So what's not to love uh, with that? That's a good episode on its, uh, in itself. Center's workshop, Aspen. Okay, well, listen up. I'll um, try to discover the rest of the mountain ridges here. And we're going to uh, explore that quest uh, the next time. For now, it's a great uh, place to have a cliffhanger for uh, this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Truly appreciate it. And as always, stay frosty. If you want to do me a solid, use your weird signs up on the like button and see if you can repair it. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye-bye.